Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to give you my first impressions on the new House of X update. However, before we get into the video, I do want to warn you guys that there is a tirade coming very soon, and I'm going to do my best to censor myself as far as profanities go, because I know some of you guys out there don't like to hear it. Some of you guys watch with your children and stuff like that, or younger brothers and sisters, cousins, etc. Um, I can't promise that I will be able to do that for this video. So if you have to put on headphones, please do that. If you have to watch at a later time when you're alone or whatever, that's okay. I understand. But I just wanted to let you guys know because uh, this one's going to be a doozy. So you got to buckle up. And uh, if you're having a bad day, I'll do my best to, to not make it worse. But I got to be honest and I got to be real always. And that's why, you, well, that's why you're here. So what's good about the update what's good about the house of x update because you're probably going to be asking yourself by the end of this video does alex even like this game anymore uh i do i love this game so much and that's why it pains me so much to make videos like this and to make rants like i was doing for hours on my twitch live stream so what do i like about this update i really like squad battle the game mode let me be clear i i hate squad battle the rewards and I will remind you now, as I will remind you later, that they lied to us. Cage lied to us, and whoever gave Cage that information to say in the live stream, they lied to us as well. They said, the Netmarble devs, Cage, said that the rewards for Squad Battle were not finalized. They lied. They were finalized. They don't give a shit what we think. When I say we, I mean the players, at large, the community, and star agents. They don't care what our feedback is until it's too late well maybe it's not too late but until it's already out and you have to suffer through it so i don't really know what the point is but anyways i digress but as a game mode i really like squad battle it's fun hopefully it will have challenge and it will have us use different characters when we get to higher stages it's got competition with your friends and with other people in the world so there's there's like a global community kind of feeling to it there's a lot to really appreciate about squad battle there was a lot of work put into this here. I can't yet speak for the restrictions going up to Vibranium, but I like the game mode. There's skill involved, but you can autoplay if you're just a casual player. There's, there's a lot to love about this game mode. There's theory crafting for the best teams and the best positions of the best teams. There's really a lot to love about this, um, and it will only get better in the future as new characters are introduced. Not every character is automatically good for this. Some characters that are really, really good for other content like Deadpool are not very good for squad battle if you're trying to push for a high score. So it really, you know, we haven't flexed our entire roster yet. Of course, we still have to fulfill that promise. But I really like this game mode and I think this game mode has a lot of promise. However, here's, here's the thing. Here's the hard truth. Here's the cold water in your face. No one is going to play this game mode outside of hardcore fans in a week because the rewards are shit yeah the rewards are just complete garbage i have six more of these boxes by the way you need a thousand let me remind you one more time you need a thousand mandalay fragments to awaken one character we currently have seven characters that you can awaken and every update is going to bring at least one new character that you can awaken mandalay gem fragments are now much more rare than cosmic cube fragments but you can bet that someone at Marvel Future Fight spent time making a new pack that you can buy in the shop for money to get more Mandalay fragments. We'll talk about that later, but these are extremely rare and they just don't drop enough of them. It's completely moronic. So having a good game mode with bad rewards, this is quintessential net marble bullshittery. They spend time to make a game mode and then they decide, you know what? This game mode's so fun, we don't have to give players any rewards. Let's just give them trash and laugh and sit back and laugh. If they want good rewards, they can go to the shop and use their credit card. It's completely garbage. It is the opposite. It ruins the game and it destroys players' motivation to play. It destroys their motivation to play because they could just pay with their credit card and get just as much. Or they could just not play and they're not missing out on much either. So what what is it? You, you, you barely play or you try your hardest. The rewards are basically the same. What's the point, right? There's no point. Let's crack open these chests one more time so you guys can be reminded of how garbage they are. 25 hidden tickets guys i know amazing right all this effort for 50,000 gold guys 50,000 gold wow my tier 3 namor with the ctp of rage in a mythic uniform for 50,000 gold guys wow guys i got a critical reward of 200 clear tickets oh my god wow clear tickets another 50 clear tickets guys wow good thing i didn't pay for these rewards 
Another 50,000 gold. Oh my gosh. One more box. I can't wait. <gasps> Another 50,000 gold. Wow. I'm so lucky to be able to play squad battle. Said no one ever. Anyways, I've gotten into a bit of a rant about what's wrong with squad battle, i.e. the rewards are absolute dog shit. But there is one more thing that I like about this update, and it is timeline battle with the new camera and the new arena. Now, I'm just going to really quickly show you guys a fight here. I'm going to try to find an opponent that I can beat because I don't want to lose and show you guys that really I'm, I'm not an alpha, but I'm a beta. Uh, I don't know why we're logging in again. That was really weird. Uh, okay, Google. Don't do that. Anyways. Oh, okay. Wow. So here is the brand new arena and um, sort of camera angle for timeline battle. However, the thing that I realized when I was queuing up this fight is that you don't actually get this one every single time. I don't know what the devs are on, but they created this new, you know, really cool cinematic view and this really cool sort of New York City backdrop, but you will randomly get it. So sometimes you'll be playing timeline battle and instead of getting this stage, you'll get the normal timeline battle stage. I don't know why they would do this. It seems really stupid to spend time developing something and then hide it from the players. I don't know if they think that it's so special that it should only appear once in a while. Um, but if you're going to change the camera angle, then keep it that way and then just design more stages with this camera angle. I love this camera angle. I love the new background. This feels more like a real fight rather than this weird Barbie thing, Beyblade shit, where the two characters spawn in and it's like a, a weird circle. That looks like some weird deathmatch thing that two kids are using their toys to play with. Uh, this is, this is, this is better. You know, this is something I actually like, but why aren't you showing this to us every single time? The fact that I can do five of my timeline battle fights and get the old arena with the old camera is moronic. If you're going to design things and you're going to spend money on them and you're going to spend time on them, then let the players enjoy those things. If you think they're good, if not, then why did you design them in the first place? Right? Why would you design something if you don't think it's good? If you don't want to show it to the players, that's kind of the, the theme for the rest of the video. Why were things designed? So those are the things that I like about this update. That's right. There's only two things I like about this update. S squad battle as a game mode, not the rewards, and the timeline battle camera slash new timeline battle arena. Timeline battle still sucks because characters are horribly imbalanced and the restriction list is garbage because it's either Jean Grey's banned or Thanos is banned or none of them are banned. Lol. So it's extremely simplistic and it's extremely easy to just cheese timeline battle. So yeah, whatever. The, the gameplay itself is bad, but... Uh, the camera is cool and that the background is cool. The last thing I like about this update, I will say there's one more thing that I like about this update is Magneto's uniform because it reworks a bad tier three character that a lot of players had invested in. So I, I like the fact that they have given him a substantial upgrade in order to make that investment actually worthwhile. So thank you for that. Unfortunately, you guys don't know how to do it more than once every few updates. So Wolverine got the shaft, but you know, you take what you can get with net marble and you, you count your blessings for every, you know, one in a million that actually land. Now, what's wrong with the update? <sighs> well, it's a long list, my friends. So strap in. So we've, we've already talked about why squad battle is going to be a, you know, dead zone. No one's going to be playing squad battle in a week because the rewards are trash. So unless they fix that ASAP, that game is already dead on arrival. It's a it's a repeat of Alliance Raid, basically. It's not as bad as Alliance Raid, but it's basically ABX. You've, you've made another ABX game mode. Congratulations. You're going to get, you know, a very small group of hardcore players to play the battle, to play it, and nobody else is going to care. They're just going to they're just going to dial it in. They're just going to lazily play or auto play or whatever and be done with it. That's not where it stops. What was Netmarble up to this whole time with this update? You know, the, the characters are, are cool and all that, but, you know, with this game mode, what else did they spend their time developing? Oh, let's take a look at what they developed here. Oh, they developed a new uh, 70 level relay. 70 level up. You've heard of 7 up. Now here's 70 level up. The new drink that tastes just as bad as it sounds. Uh, the level 70 relay pack is exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like we're going to gouge you for as much money as possible to see how stupid you are. This pack is grossly overpriced, grossly overpriced. This ticket takes a regular tier one character. It does not work on native tier twos. It takes a regular tier one character from level 60 to level 62. That's it. It saves you a bit of gold. 
it saves you some Norn Stones of Chaos or, or Black Antimatter, and it saves you a few hundred bios for $11 and 200 crystals. If that wasn't bad enough, that's right, there is an Ultra pack to go from level 68 to 70. This is not a mythic ticket. This is not 60 to 70. This is just 68 to 70. This is the last step. And 8,000 crystals for a whopping $140 Canadian. I said this on the Twitch live stream. There's basically only one reason that you would ever purchase this. If you somehow stumbled upon someone else's money or you stole someone's credit card and you only had five minutes to spend the money, you would buy this shit. This is absolute garbage. And trying to gouge players with this kind of stuff is disgusting. This is beneath you. And it's sad that you spent development time on this. I really want to speak to the marketing people that okayed this because they're dumb. And you are dumb for allowing this. This is bad. Nobody wanted this. Nobody's going to buy this. And, I, and I'll do my best to make sure that no one buys this trash because it's trash. It's hot trash. So yeah, what else did they spend their time uh, doing? Well, guess what guys? The Awakening Crystals weren't selling enough money. So now we're gonna put Awakening Crystals and these new bullshit Mandalay Fragments that we just invented to try to save, to spend more money and have you spend more money. Uh, yeah, so basically they just included the Mandalay Fragments along with the Awakening Crystals and they took out the, the tier three components, the other tier three components, and it's the same cost. So this is just, this is just ridiculous, you know? They're like, they're like, okay, we have an idea. How do we sell more Awakening Crystals? Okay, well, we were dumb, and we put Awakening Crystals in World Boss. So how can we fix this? Okay, let's take Cynic Alex as an example so we can blame him. Lol. We'll put, we'll put like, way too little Awakening Crystals. It'll be guaranteed so they can't whine about RNG. But we'll put, like, a really small amount of Awakening Crystals in this new squad battle game mode. Okay, okay, that's good. But that's not, that's not greedy enough. We need to be more greedy, guys. Come on, let's think of something else. Can we do, like, Awakening Crystals but make them, like, pink or, or green? Can we just change the color for no reason? No, 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 we can't do that. That's too stupid. That's too stupid even for us. Okay, what can we do, guys? Okay, we'll make up a brand new item called Mandalay Gem Fragments. And we'll give them even less of these fragments in squad battle. Yeah, even less. Half as much as the Awakening Crystals. Oh, that's genius. And how many, oh, how many Mandalay Fragments are you going to need to awaken a character? A thousand. And how many are you going to get from doing squad battle for a whole goddamn month? Not even 500. They're sure to spend money now. So if this wasn't bad enough, that obviously the Mandalay gem fragments were just created to try and milk us out of money, not to mention the fact they're trying to, uh, you know, gouge players who are stupid and who don't know any better to spend money on this crap. If that didn't piss you off enough, oh, I've got something for you. You thought the ultimates were bad. Get a load of this. For the low, low price of $70 Canadian, you can own a large-breasted blue woman named Mystique. You also get a whopping 1,000 crystals and a super whopping 1 million gold. Guess what, future fighters? You're still going to need to spend more money on those Mandalay gem fragments to awaken Mystique in order for her to actually be really strong. So guess what? You're going right back up here. You're throwing more cash on the table and you are, you're spending. You got to spend, you got to buy this one twice because it's $70 just like Mystique. But you need a thousand of these Mandalay gem fragments, guys. So, guys, for the low, low price of two hundred and ten dollars, it's guys, it's it's only two hundred and ten dollars Canadian. That's not a lot, and you can get one character with their awaken skill at level one of six. It's not a big deal, guys. What are you so upset about? This is the House of X update. Aren't you guys so happy that we got the House of X update? By the way, we all, you also need thousands of crystals for Gene, Nimrod, Wolverine, and Mr. Uh, Professor X. Not to mention Mr. Sinister. So, yeah. I was a lot more irate about this uh, on the live stream. I'm just kind of, I'm just tired, to be honest. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm recording this video, and it's just like, what the fuck? Seriously. I, I don't understand. If you had taken this, if you had taken the effort that you used to try and rip us off, if you had taken the 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 time and the work, like people actually sat down and worked on this, that's embarrassing. If you had taken that effort, that you, that that greedy, you know, driven by money, if you had taken that effort and you had put it into the rewards for 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 squad battle, 
if you had taken that effort and you had put it into improving one of the other quality of life features that we've been begging you for, then I would be sitting here right now encouraging players to spend. I'll tell you guys a secret. Before the uh, the Hydra Supreme update, before this, before the Secret Empire update, before I got the APK, okay, I had actually written a note to myself saying that if we like the update as players, we should spend money to show Netmarble that we really like updates where they rework old characters and bad characters and where they rework villains. Because that's what the Secret Empire update was. Reworking Crossbones, reworking Dr. Octopus, reworking Red Skull. And then we got the APK and we realized that they fucked with the strikers. So then we were all pissed and then I was like, there's no way I can say this shit in a YouTube video. I'm going to look like a crazy shill. And I was right and I didn't say anything. I wanted to say that again this update. Once again, Netmarble has silenced me because they're too stupid to they're, like they're you got you guys are literally mishandling mismanaging this game and you're running it into the ground with greed and stupidity you, like this update could have been 10 times better you could have made 10 times the money that you're going to make on this update you should be whatever you're going to be proud of yourselves whatever money you make a million dollars whatever i don't care but you're leaving so much money on the table by being so greedy and so ignorant at the same time it's okay to be greedy and smart. It's okay to be ignorant and cheap, but you guys are being ignorant and greedy. It's literally the worst possible combination. So thank you for giving me more money and time to spend on Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, which this video is not sponsored by. I just really like that game, and I've been spending a lot of money in it because it's bringing me a lot of joy to play. I have not spent any money in this game, and I'm strongly considering that. I haven't bought any of the uniforms, as you saw, and maybe I'll just continue that way until Netmarble fixes this piece of shit update. Last but not least, if you're still not pissed off, I want you to know one more thing. Now, I can't confirm this myself because I haven't, I already played co-op, so I haven't been able to play after the update. But apparently, they changed the backgrounds of some of the co-op missions. Now, think about how out of touch that is. Think about how little you have to know about Marvel Future Fight as a developer, as the as the general manager of the game, whatever, whoever's overseeing the game. Think of how, how little you have to know about the game to think that the players want new backgrounds for co-op battle. That was a big silence I just left because there is so much stupidity in that sentence that I had to pause, otherwise my brain might have an aneurysm. Co-op battle, just in case there's some devs watching this and eager to know the answer. Co-op battle is not a good game mode. It has great rewards. It's basically the opposite of squad battle. The gameplay is shit. The rewards are godly, especially if you're a VIP player. But you know what this game mode has? It has two things. It has extremely brief content. The fights literally last five seconds or less. You spend more time loading in and out of co-op than you do fighting. So I spend more time watching the loading screen key art than I do looking at whatever stupid background you designed. Okay? And so does everyone else. And actually, most people don't even see any of that shit because most people click this button and click this button and then they put their phone down and then they go and do something else because it's an autoplay game mode. You designed new backgrounds for an autoplay game mode that takes five seconds to complete. This was the biggest waste of time and the biggest mismanagement of resources since Trojan decided to print jokes on the inside of their condoms. They were writing little jokes like the hubba bubba. Who the hell is reading that shit? Nobody. This was a colossal screw up and this update is probably going to go down as a freaking disaster you need to fix this asap because it's mad embarrassing this is not marvel and this is this is so beneath you i love this game but you guys are are fucking it up and i'm not here for it i'm really not here for it anyway sorry for sorry for swearing i love you guys thanks so much for watching let me know what you guys think uh on in the comments on discord on twitter etc let, uh, let Netmarble, let Marvel Future Fight, let Marvel Games know what you think, because they will be listening. I will see you in the next one. Take care.